We do move on now to another big story we're following, the new developments in the kidnapping case that made national headlines. Authorities looking for any possible connection between 13-year-old Jamie Kloss and the 21-year-old suspect accused of targeting her and killing her parents. New images coming in of the remote house where she was held captive for three months. ABC's Alex Perez is in Wisconsin. Tonight, Jamie Kloss wrapping up her first weekend with family after three terrifying months in captivity. The 13-year-old all smiles, posing with loved ones across town, signs of support everywhere you look. Suspect Jake Patterson's motive remains a mystery. Police allege the unemployed 21-year-old kicked down the Kloss's front door last October, shot and killed her parents so he could take Jamie. But authorities don't yet know why. Jamie was the target of, of Mr. Patterson. He didn't know the clauses. He had no contact with the clauses that we've been able to uncover at this time. Investigators say Patterson held Jamie captive at this home about 70 miles away in Gordon, Wisconsin. A sign reading Patterson's retreat hanging above the front door. This is the property where authorities say Jamie was held captive for 88 days. The home can't be seen off the road. It's behind that garage there. Neighbors who live in this area say there was always something different about this house. Did you ever see anything weird or suspicious there? No, it's just a, you know, I, it's just not a place I ever felt really comfortable walking by. I never saw anybody. Patterson's childhood friend, Dylan Fisher, telling ABC News he never imagined his quiet, happy friend would be accused of something like this. I'm asking myself a lot of questions and none of it makes sense. Fisher's mom also remembering Patterson's visits. I never had a, an inkling that he thought that way. Patterson's attorneys in a statement saying in part, this is a very tragic situation. Mr. Patterson's legal team will be relying on the integrity of our judicial system to ensure that everyone's rights are protected and respected. And Alex Perez joins us live now. And Alex, that suspect will have his first court appearance tomorrow. And we may learn more about why he targeted that teenage girl. That's right, Tom. He's doing court tomorrow afternoon. Much of this case remains a big mystery, but when prosecutors file a criminal complaint tomorrow, we may finally learn some details about a possible motive. Tom? Alex Perez on this story from the get-go. Alex, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.